ANC Secretary General Figi Lembalula says the candidates on the ANC list are ready to work with all South Africans to implement the party's 2024 manifesto. Addressing a press briefing a short while ago, Mbalula says the candidates will enrich how the party governs the country in the next five years. The qualification, skills and combined experience of our 2024 candidates reflect a party that has gained enormous experience in governance and development. The new additions to our list bring with them experiences in civil society, business, the youth, students and trade union movements and traditional leadership, which will only enrich how we govern and represent people over the coming five years. The ANC lists also deliberately bring in candidates from all national groups. More than half of our candidates, 53%, are women and 40% are young people, traditional leaders, persons with disability and members of the LGBTQI plus community. This is a team of the people, by the people, and for the people ready to work with all South Africans to implement the ANC's 2024 manifesto to do more together. These candidates were selected through a rigorous democratic participatory and transparent process that lasted over eight months overseen by an independent ANC electoral committee chaired by Comrade uh, Kalima Mutlante, former deputy president of the ANC, former president of the Republic, and former secretary general of the African National Congress. We thank the chairperson and all esteemed members of the electoral committee for the diligence, commitment, and integrity with which they carried out this important task. In carrying out the mandate given by the special extended NEC, the ANC Electoral Committee was tasked to provide a list of candidates appearing on the ANC candidate list who appeared before the Integrity Commission and in respect of whom the Commission submitted reports and are named in the State Capture a Commission report. A number of individuals who fall into the above categories were either not nominated as candidates or were found by the Electoral Committee to be ineligible due to having criminal records, stepping aside as a result of criminal charges, or being suspended pending ANC disciplinary processes. Of the, na of the persons named in the State Capture Commission, only 20 are current or former NEC members and all public representatives. Of these, only six appear on the ANC 2024 candidate list. Based on the response of the Electoral Committee, the national officials compiled a report containing the names of the candidates, a summary of the matters in respect of which they engaged with the Integrity Commission and or they were named in the State Capture Commission report.